Well, other than the omnis, omnipresence, omnipotence, omniscience, uh, there are other categories of describing God that are normally covered in theology. Many of them, I believe, are understood by what we've talked about as God being spirit. For example, they talk about him being immaterial and incorporeal, a theological term meaning he doesn't have a body and not made a man. Of course, he's spirit, so I don't know we really need to talk about that once you understand that. <clears throat> I don't think we really need to talk about that once you understand that he is spirit. Uh, he's invisible, duh, he's spirit. Uh, living, well, yes, I think uh, pretty obvious he's living. He's not an impersonal force. Why? Well, yeah. Mankind was made in the image of God. We have intellect, we have emotions, we have will, and there's so many indications in the Bible. God has intellect, omniscience, he knows. Uh, and uh, God has emotions, God is love, and God is righteous uh, so that he can be a jealous God, vengeful. Yes, he, he is just. Uh, and so there are things that show that God has emotions. It says he hates sin and uh, love and hate and emotions. It says um, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God when a sinner repents. Well, if there's joy in the presence of the angels of God, guess who's rejoicing? God is. <laughs> and so the fact that God has emotions, very clear, and will, oh my goodness, we're always talking about the will of God. And uh, men are actually given an accountability. Uh, we're expected to make right choices. And God has his own will for his creation. And we discover that more and more as we read what he has to say about himself and his creation and what we know as the plan of salvation for a creation that failed in their original assignment. He, he gives mankind a second chance. Now, other things are like uh, self-existence. I don't know why we need to talk about that. If he created everything, obviously <laughs> he exists of, it, of his own being, as it says in, uh, to Moses, I am that I am. I just am. Well, do we need to talk about <laughs> why I am? No, I just am. Uh, uh, eternity. Well, of course, if, if he created a time, space, matter, world, universe, uh, he's outside of the time and space rules. And so eternity is perhaps not what we think it all. So eternity is perhaps not what we always think it is of millions and millions of years. <laughs> eternity may just mean get out of the time world and you're in a different world not bound by time. So uh, there's a big deal in theology that God is eternal. I'm thinking, duh, of course he is. Uh, <clears throat> now there's another one that comes up. He's immutable, unchangeable. That's pretty good. I do believe that's a good thing to mention. In uh, Malachi 3.6, he says, I am the Lord. I do not change. And uh, we see this repeated in different uh, New Testament scriptures. In him there is, uh, in James, in him there's no changeableness, no shadow of turning. And uh, Hebrews says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So there's an unchangeable part of the nature of God. And yet within that unchangeable part of the nature of God, the fact that who he is does not change, how he deals with us appears to change based on our responses and reaction to him. Don't want to get everybody mad about that, but certainly the way it's described in scripture, it gives that appearance. So uh, we can change. It says if anyone is in Christ, they're a new creation. The old things have passed away. New things have come. All things have become new. And so change is a very important part of salvation, of coming to know God in Jesus. So mankind definitely very changeable. God is not changeable, but in his treatment of us, seems to appear to change. Once he was condemning, we trust Jesus, no more condemnation in them than in Christ Jesus. So there's a reason why it appears to change, and it's because certain demands he has of his very nature, his holiness, have been satisfied. That's a lot of what the doctrine of salvation, 
soteriology talks about, and uh, several topics of soteriology we'll be dealing with as we go along.